Congressman, do you feel safe at the Capitol right now? What's your assessment of security? And will you be at the inauguration next week? Will you be concerned? Yes, I mean, as I said before, um, I do support the peaceful transition of power. And even though um, the candidate from my party didn't win the presidential election, I think it's very important that members of Congress um, uh, go to the inauguration. I will be attending the inauguration and celebrating this uh, uh, this uh, democratic uh, transfer of power in our country. And as I said, I want to work with the uh, incoming administration of the president where I can and where I need to be the loyal opposition, I will. And I recognize I represent a lot of people uh, who voted for President-elect Biden. Not a majority, but I represent those individuals as well. So I will be attending the inauguration and I want to see our country succeed no matter who is the president. In terms of safety, um, I do feel safe. Uh, the, the Capitol Hill police presence has been strengthened. The Washington, D.C. Uh, law enforcement is here in force, and the National Guard has been surged, and um, additional security measures have been put into place. Uh, there's been a barrier that's been erected around the Capitol complex, and the National Guard has a very robust presence. Clearly, there was a failure uh, in the run-up to the January uh, sixth mayhem and violence at the cat and the incursion into the Capitol building. We need to learn from that. We need to investigate what happened. And um, I, I know that uh, we're getting briefings about how the Capitol Hill police, the Secret Service, the FBI, federal law enforcement, and the National Guard are taking steps to secure the inauguration uh, to prevent any violence. But I will have to say also, Nancy, we are hearing credible threats and intelligence reports of uh, potential problems, and we need to be prepared for that. Should the inauguration go on outdoors in public with a large gathering, would you change the way it's conducted altogether because of those threats? Uh, law enforcement uh, is not telling us and not recommending that at this time. Um, the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, uh, the Capitol Police, the Secret Service, they're all involved. I have confidence in, in these agencies, and they're telling us that the inauguration can proceed. But obviously, given the events of the last week, uh, we're going to see, and because of these credible threats, uh, we are going to see a much more robust security presence than we would uh, otherwise normally see during an inauguration.